Hi, Under Drummer here with another how-to video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to run Blood Omen Legacy of Cain on a Windows 8 computer. Or for that matter, any operating system from 2000 until today. You will be using your Legacy of Cain CD-ROM or your Legacy of Cain ISO image. I have a quick tutorial on how to use Daemon Tools Lite to make ISO images of all your game discs to preserve them and protect them. So you will need your Legacy of Cain disc or an ISO image of Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. You will need Daemon Tools Lite and we will also be using Cuban Rawls Blood Omen Legacy of Cain 2.0 patch which is a really cool uh, patch for Legacy of Cain that allows it to run on modern computers without crashing. So it's just generally a good idea to back up your games anyways and make ISO images of them. Uh, the discs can get scratched or eventually become un unreadable. So uh, I try to do that with all my old games. Um, I don't have Legacy of Kane handy, so right now I have a Space Quest collection in there. I'm just going to show you real quick how to create an ISO image. And you, of course, do this with your Legacy of Kane disc. Make sure that it's in the CD-ROM. Uh, download Daemon Tools Lite. It's free. It's easy to use. Open that up. This little icon right here is a disk with a, uh, looks like a floppy in front of it, but it's your make a disk image. Click on that. It'll read your, your C drive or whatever's in your E drive, excuse me, your disk drive, your CD-ROM drive, whatever they're calling them these days. So it's refreshing. Okay, there, there's what's in this uh, E drive there. And uh, it wants to save it. I think default is document somewhere. So just go and change that to your desktop. Click these three little dots here. Tell you you just want to save on your desktop. And, oh, I didn't hit videos. Desktop. And then uh, here in the save as type, drop this down to ISO. It's default is in .mdx, which I don't know what the difference is. But I, I learned to use ISO, so I use ISOs. Um, and then hit save. Make sure that's correct. And then hit start. Now we want to go to home.comcast.net forward slash heavyweights forward slash games forward slash cane to download the Blood Omen Legacy of Cain version 2.0, which is basically a patch by a guy named Cuban Raw. The patch fixes uh, how the old game used to crash with modern operating systems, fixes a few other things. It's pretty cool and nifty. You've got to go there and download it. I will be sure to put the download location in the links section of this video. Here is the Daemon Tools. Light, double click on it. And down here you can add images. So all you have to do is take the Kane ISO and drop it plunk, in there and it will mount. It's called mounting. And it will immediately mount the image. Now how do we know it's really mounted? Well, we go to our computer and we see now in the drive is the Blood Omen Legacy of Cain disc. So you double click that and this will install Blood Omen Legacy of Cain 2.0 on your on your PC. Kind of cool actually I should have showed you um, some of the stuff that he fixed. Fixes crashes in Windows 2000 and XP, fixes lockup issues, fixes credits, option to install the game and patch to the CD-ROM, removes the need to use compatibility mode, improves uninstall program. This this removes the need to use the compatibility mode. Holds true for even Windows 7 and Windows 8. Should fully run and install. Select and install. Auto detects, which, yeah, all this cool stuff. So the game works really well. Uh, I just played about 20 minutes of it, but it works fine. So, okay, so click next. So then hit next. It's going to install it in C Games Kane. That's fine. Now here we say uh, we want to install it from a CD-ROM. So we pick that one. Next, it'll extract the files and uh, create a, <clears throat> a shortcut on our desktop. There's the uh, shortcut right there. So uh, then once that's installed, you don't you don't need the disk in anymore. We'll just leave it in for now. Okay, let's test it out now. I'll feel like a complete ass if this doesn't load. I didn't set compatibility mode, nothing. I just double clicked on it. Now, I don't know if that's picking up on Hypercam. I hope it is. Turn the sound up for you. There is a magical operation of maximum importance. 
the initiation of a new aeon, when it becomes necessary to utter a word, the whole planet must be bathed in blood. You know, it's not the PlayStation version, but I think this is the original version, and uh, they, that guy just fixed a few bugs. But yeah, it works so far from what I played. We know we can't beat these guys. That doesn't mean we can't try. Can I take out one of them? <laughs> Fool. As you can see, the game works. It loads fine. Plays fine. Um, it's not going to be up at the top left corner like that. That's my hypercam being stupid. Uh, if this helped you guys out, then uh, be sure to like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Thank you.